G'day there, you're watching the Aussie BIM Guru, and today you've reached the final part of my Learn Dynamo series. Um, so this is just a conclusion um, to give you some guidance of where to go from here. So we've made it. Um, this is the end of the beginning for you, so for you and Dynamo. So now you're ready to go off and actually learn on your own volition. So um, just a little running joke, but I'm basically letting you free into the world. Um, there's a lot more I can teach you if I wanted to, but I think it's best that you pursue your own education now. Um, so where to from now? So I think first you'd want to experiment and practice with what you've learned. Then I recommend that you build your own first script, um, one that solves a problem you have. Then educate and inform other people, uh, build a community and then join the community. And then from there, there's a lot of advanced topics I can direct you towards as well. So I've really just given you the tools. Uh, practice makes perfect with Dynamo. Uh, there will be some frustration. Um, try out a lot of different nodes. I haven't shown every single node in Dynamo. Uh, and there's a lot of custom packages that I haven't shown as well. So just a reminder that in Dynamo, you can go up to the, the top ribbon and you can go search for custom package. And there are hundreds, um, if not thousands of custom packages published from other people. Some are great, some are not so great, uh, but it's always good to look through these and see if any look like they'll solve problems you have or may have in future. And be ready for frustration and be ready for bugs. Dynamo is not a perfect program. There are things that happen between versions which don't work. So just be prepared for frustration and take on board everything I've told you throughout the series when you're dealing with these issues. So persevere. Um, I always advise that the best thing you do from here is you build your first script. So this is a one that solves the problem you need to solve. It isn't a example that someone else has given you or just a follow me demonstration. It's something you need to solve. So it'll force you to solve a problem and to use Dynamo in a way that suits you. Um, ultimately, you, need, you should aim to make it a problem that Dynamo can solve, not just a problem that Dynamo can help with. Um, an example of my first problem that I gave myself is I wanted to fully automate the door numbering system in my projects. So I ended up numbering all my doors by room and then applying a sequence to each room of doors. And then I made exceptions for my facade doors in a clockwise order. So feel free to use that as a case study if you're looking for something to really push your skills. It was difficult, um, but I got there in the end. And if it's too hard, don't feel like you failed. Um, it actually took me about five times to really understand Dynamo um, the way that I do now. Um, so keep keep sticking with it. And if you need to come back later, um, there's no, no shame in doing that. Um, I think from there, if you're really getting on board with Dynamo and you're following it and it's becoming a part of your skill set, think about educating other people. Um, so if you're working in an office, uh, start running training sessions or bringing people into the picture. That way you're not just stuck on your own or doing it on your own. Um, it's more fun when other people do it with you. Um, and think about joining user groups or anyone in your area that might be outside your company that's also using the program. That way you can trade skills and you can share ideas um, and you can show your victories as well. So things that have worked because there's not really much fun in triumphing over a big problem if no one really wants to hear it or no one does hear it. So feel free to find communities in your area. And um, you're welcome to start a YouTube channel as well. It's what I did just to share my uh, my experience and also to educate other people. And i um, more than welcome to do it. Um, not worried about competition. It's more a community, if anything, that we need. Um, you can see an example here of a, a user group that I've joined in my area in Sydney. Uh, Meetup is usually a good place to find them. Uh, a lot of them are registered on there as well. Um, from there, it's good to inform people as well. So not just educate people, but tell people about it. So you can see an example here of uh, what I've shared on LinkedIn. So I actually share some of my YouTube videos to LinkedIn, to my wider network, and some of them do go quite far, depending on who sees them and who shares them. Um, so it's a good way to, to broadcast what you're doing and to share skills and ideas. Because um, ideally, the better people are in the industry, the better the industry is to work in for us as well. Um, it's not just a matter of us being as good as we can be and then leaving behind everyone else. And consider going to conferences as well, such as um, BILT, uh, RTC, um, so Autodesk University, because um, there's usually a lot of really advanced techniques on display in relation to Dynamo and other software at these. Um, and join the community. So when you're ready, feel free to join the Dynamo forums um, and give the primer a read as well. This will sort of polish off your skills in Dynamo once you've read through this document. And the forums are a great place to collaborate. And um, when you're advanced enough, you can actually go on there and help people with their problems as well. So you can see an example here of a, a script someone had trouble with and I actually just jumped on the forums and gave them a solution. Um, and you don't really get much out of it. It's just more for sharing ideas. A lot of my ideas actually come off the forum as well. So people having a problem and I go, oh, that's an interesting problem to solve. Actually, I want to build my own script that can do this. So it's a good way to learn as well and to get ideas. Um, there's a lot of advanced topics from there that you can learn as well. 
So probably in order of the, how I recommend learning them, it's probably Python scripting, because that can be used in Dynamo as well. Uh, from there, building custom packages. I wouldn't recommend building custom packages if you don't know how to use Dynamo, because people are quite strict on how custom nodes are built. They do prefer that they're efficient, and usually Python scripting is required for really efficient custom nodes. Uh, from there, you can look at Revit API and C++, uh, so actually going beyond Dynamo, but taking your coding experience with you uh, into a more advanced environment where you can build plugins, for example. Um, there are also some really great data visualization tools out there that I'm coming across. Uh, one I found recently is called Power BI. Consider plugging a lot of your data into these softwares in order to actually access such layers of your company, such as management, who probably don't actually understand the code, but they might see benefit in what you do if they can see these tools uh, visualizing the data that you're generating. And also have a look at um, a package called Data Shapes, which enables you to put a user interface on the front of your Dynamo script. Uh, it's a great way to bring other people into your scripting environment um, and not scare them away from Dynamo itself. And of course, um, my channel has more videos as well. So beyond this learning series, I actually have a Dynamo playlist as well, where I upload more complex scripts um, that typically you might need the basics to understand, but I'll typically build the script from the beginning and we'll end up using it in the end to achieve a solution, typically about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so I recommend watching those as well when you're ready. And of course, if you can always contact me as well, either via my YouTube or via my email, which is down in my, down in my banner, um, or via LinkedIn as well. So if you have any queries or suggestions or you just need some general advice, um, I'm always happy to be reached. Um, I've had people from overseas contacting me already, so people from the UK, uh, people from Europe as well, so it's brilliant to have some of that contact as well, so feel free to. And um, this is me, uh, just some information about me, I won't fully go through it, but I work as a BIM manager, so if you have any general questions beyond Dynamo as well, I'm always happy to help, uh, just give general tips and tips and tricks as well. Um, so, And if you're in Sydney, um, feel free to reach out to me directly, always happy to meet up with people that like the same things. Um, and Aussie BIM Guru itself, the channel's going to keep going, obviously. Um, this was just a playlist that I was going through. We've got past 50 videos now and we're still growing, so um, feel free to follow that as well. And um, I'll, be keep, I'll keep uploading videos for a very long time, I'd say. So thanks for watching and um, hopefully I'll see you in future videos. If you've got any um, advice or feedback on what you've watched, feel free to leave it down below or to contact me. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in future videos. Uh, so thanks. Take care. Bye.